Welcome back to my kitchen. Today I thought I'd do a quick little how-to video on making homemade Velveeta cheese. It actually takes surprisingly few ingredients if you're, I'm making a Mexican Velveeta cheese today, but if you wanted just a plain Velveeta, it would only take four ingredients. To start with, I'm going to use a pound of shredded cheddar cheese. I have a half of a pound of mild and a half of a pound of sharp. You can use all mild or all sharp. It doesn't make any difference. The only thing I would recommend is that you shred it yourself. The bagged uh, cheese does not work very well for this. I don't know if it has something to do with the cornstarch that they coat the, the cheese in to help it from keep it from clumping in the bag. But uh, for this recipe, you definitely want to go with a, a, a a cheese that you shred yourself. We're also going to need six tablespoons of evaporated milk and one package of unflavored gelatin. And the fourth ingredient would be your hot water that helps melt all this. I'm also adding in two jalapenos, two serranos, and a mix of red, yellow, and orange uh, bell pepper. I had the little mini bell peppers. Um, so that's what, you know, what I've gone with here, but you could certainly use half of a, a regular sized pepper and it will work just as well. To get started, I'm going to move this stuff out of my way and bring my blender over. And I'm just simply going to dump in the evaporated milk and the gelatin. You want to make sure with your gelatin that the, it has an expired, um, it works better, <laughs> believe me. If you use an expired one, your Velveeta is going to end up being kind of grainy. So definitely go with a fresh package or an unexpired package of your right, gelatin. At this point, I'm just going to go ahead and dump my boiling water in and give it a quick little blitz here on in my blender sorry for the noise <laughs> going to add in all the cheese and this is the hot water is going to help this uh, melt down okay there we go let's get our lid back on well, no before I do that let me add in uh, my peppers this is going to make it look really pretty when you slice into it as well Plus, give it a little bit of heat. And you do want to mince these up pretty small. I mean, they're going to they're going to uh, get blended up in the blades of the blender. But um, you still want them fairly small when you put them in. Alright, let's get this blended up. Okay, you may have to stir it in a few times. And scrape down your sides to make sure everything's getting in there but it comes together really quickly our next step is to take a plastic lined container I'm using a freezer container that's kind of the shape and size of a, a Velveeta brick you can also use a loaf pan mini loaf pans and make like two or three little bricks up to you on how you want to do it but for now let's get all this poured in if I can do it this way so you guys can see. It is nice and thick already. And very smooth. <laughs> so that's a good sign. Let's get me this all scraped down in. Okay, there we go. All of it scraped down in. I'm just going to give it a quick little tap to move any air bubbles around. 
and then you want to simply cover this because you don't want to get air on top of it it'll dry it out and then this will simply go in the refrigerator for up to 12 hours or overnight and then we'll take it out and slice it up and see if it all right it's been about 24 hours that this has been setting up in the refrigerator it is a nice solid let's take a little uh, slice out of it and see how it cuts now it is a little bit softer I've had it sitting on my counter here for a few minutes and my, my house is a little bit warm but you can see it really looks just like Velveeta when you slice into it and it holds really well while I'm slicing this up, let me remind you of the community-driven playlist that Japica Death and I have going on on our channels. If you would like to be a part of that, it's quite simple. All you need to do is go out there, make a cooking video, and post it to your channel. And then let either Japic and I know about it either in the comment section of our newest cooking videos, or if you are a part of his Discord channel, you can let us know over there as well and we will gladly go and take a look at it and get it posted to the uh, playlist so today what I'm gonna do is I'm making JPEX queso dip so I'm just kind of slicing this up so that I can get it ready to go in it really holds together just like uh, the store-bought Velveeta but Honestly, it tastes so much better, and there's not all the chemical additives that are in a normal um, Velveeta. If you don't want the peppers in it, like I said, you know, I added them because I wanted a Mexican style Velveeta for this. Um, you can definitely just leave all the peppers out. You can use different peppers. If you want it hotter, use some habaneros. If you, you know, don't want the red peppers, you don't need to put those in. You can substitute them with something like a, a Fresno, which has a beautiful uh, red color. But it, it's, it just is so gorgeous to look at. The texture is really good. Um, I'm going to let this cook down for a little while. I'll bring you back and let you guys see how it melts down. Before I do that, if um, any of you guys are wondering about how much this cost me to make, I spent $1.60 for each brick of cheese, so that was $3.20 for the cheese. I spent $0.10 cents on the serrano peppers. I spent $0.15 cents on the jalapenos. The little baby bell peppers were in a package, so if I divide out what I, I paid for that, her what I used out of the package just for this recipe it probably came to 50 cents and then I already had the gelatin and the evaporated milk here in my house so I use pantry staples out of that in the summertime when my hot peppers are in I wouldn't even have to pay for the hot peppers I just go out to my garden and pick them so if you have to go out and buy the evaporate or the powdered milk it will run you a little bit more than what a brick of Velveeta will initially but you you already have that in your home it honestly it works out to what about probably around four dollars or not even four dollars is what I paid to make this dish or to make this uh, Velveeta yeah so in the long run I think the low cost and the better ingredients in this outweigh the price of a brick Hi of guys I know I said I was gonna show off how well the homemade Velveeta cheese melted and worked in JPEX uh, queso dip Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that. That segment of the video became corrupted, and there is no way for me to retrieve the video. It, nor can I um, refilm it, as we had already eaten 
the majority of the queso dip and what was left over I turned into a homemade mac, uh, queso mac and cheese. So, you know, I apologize for that, but, you know, it is what it is. If you enjoyed this little how-to video, let me know down in the comment section below. If you try it out, let me know how it turned out for you. Remember to go and check out the Gamers and Geeks playlist. I will leave a, a link in the description for it, as well as a link to JPEX uh, Queso Dip. If you guys haven't tried it out, you really should. It's pretty amazing. So, for now, thank you for joining me. I've been Ball Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I see you in the next one.